Hey there everybody, what's going on? My name is Jeremy. I'm a motion graphics designer, animator, and 3D hobbyist. This show is an unrehearsed screen recording of my workflow and a peek into my journey to develop a deeper design skill set. Here it's not so much practice makes perfect, but more practice makes progress. This is The Drill. All right, so this week I'm following the uh, Grayscale Gorilla's uh, intro to X Particles, uh, Gorilla Guide to X Particles again, working on texture-based emissions. It's a little further down in the list if you're following along. Um, with this is really cool. What, what you're doing is you're using uh, the object, uh, an object to drive the emission, but you're using a texture tag on that object. So you can see in there I actually have a native Cinema 4D object. Um, I'm sorry, texture, and I'm using that on a plane. And what I did was I used um, shockwaves from uh, Grayscale, or um, I'm sorry, from Video Copilot. It's a free, um, this really cool shockwave stock kind of look um, uh, that'll be linked below. And use that, as, uh, the, use the luminance values from that to drive um, a, a, an object's texture animation. So that's how I got this explosion. Um, kind of in the same method that I used for the um, animated displacement in Octane. It's, it's the same kind of idea. And then what I'm doing is grabbing the colors right from the display tab of the X particles emitter object and driving it from there. So uh, uh, right here you can see I'm just caching this out to, to make it a, a little lighter and easier to use. Um, still admittedly not that familiar with caching. I'm not sure if this is just how you would kind of set it up so you could pass the project along to somebody else who isn't using X particles or if it actually is like um, baking in a dynamic simulation. But either way, um, you could see the render here. So what I did is I actually rendered it out and I um, used the object tag to build these spheres on on the uh, texture emission and I think this was about a hundred thousand spheres um, and got this cool like weird alien thing um, in compositing what I actually ended up doing is using the the texture animation that I used to drive the emitter in the first place and I uh, um, multiplied or I'm sorry I screened that over it so you get this like little a little bit of this like pink like sh uh, smoke added onto it and you can see right there I'm just tweaking that a little bit Adding a little bit of film grain here, um, I thought this kind of looked like uh, a cool, you know, this could play as like a cool um, old, uh, you know, vintage recording of this weird object. And I, I wanted to do this thing where it was kind of like stitched together, so I actually ended up doing a little, um, I, I just pulled for reference some old NASA um, of the moon photography and built these little like tick hash things and kind of figured out how, where to mathematically lay those out so it looks like this is all stitched together. I just kind of overlaid that over the top. But um, as far as the X particles uh, simulation, this was a really, really fun one and I, it's something that there's a lot of uh, practical uses for. Um, and I'm really excited to, to start to dive more into those animated, um, animated textures and animated um, luminance maps and figure out how you could use this to, to build, you know, animations uh, with your texture emissions right in the animations that you're making. Um, sorry, I'm really jumbled up right now. I'm kind of a little loopy from this project. It built very fast, which meant that the, the time lapse uh, is, was very fast, so I'm trying to spit all this information out at the same time. So I apologize if anything's a little crazy. Uh, feel free to leave a comment or a message down below, and I'm sure I can uh, talk my way out of that one, hopefully. So here's the render. Uh, I, th I think this came out really cool. I'm really, really happy with it. I like that it looks like this, like, this weird, almost like those alien things from the King Kong remake, where that ate, like, the sailors and stuff like that, the weird, like, worm things. But anyway... That's all for this week's episode. Uh, I'm just rambling now, so let's uh, wrap up this episode. Uh, you know how YouTube works. Like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitch at Jeremy underscore Walker. That's J-R-M-Y underscore W-L-K-R. You can visit my website for updates or shoot me an email at Jeremy at JeremyWalker.com. Thank you again so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you all next week on The Drill.